A total lunar eclipse. It'll happen tonight. Meteorologist Lauren Brand is tracking the path of the eclipse. Can you start by telling us, Lauren, what a total lunar eclipse is? Well, Brie, a total lunar eclipse, this will turn the moon a coppery red. It's also known as the blood moon, and it happens when the full moon aligns perfectly with the Earth's shadow. Now, what's fun about this type of eclipse is that you don't need special glasses to view it like you do a solar eclipse. This will be the first time in three years that a total lunar eclipse will be visible across the U.S. And now, even if Mother Nature allows for a pure, perfect viewing, you will still have to wake up in the middle of the night to see it. So let's time this out. The partial phase will start around 11 p.m. tonight with totality beginning at 1226 a.m. It will end about an hour later at 1:30. Another big question is going to be cloud cover. Now, unfortunately, with this incoming system, we will have cloudy skies around when we're supposed to see that eclipse. Now, Pueblo won't have as much cloud cover, but it will still be difficult to see, Alan. <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer. You know, it's always fun to get out and see some of these phenomenon taking place. Yeah, Do you absolutely. think the eastern plains might be a little bit better than, say, areas close to I-25? Yeah, for sure. The Plains will have lagged a little bit behind with that cloud cover, so if you do want to see it, I would maybe suggest going towards the southeast. Now, Pueblo might get a little bit lucky, but I think it'll still be kind of hard to see along the I-25 yeah, corridor. That's